What's up guys, Domi's here and today we're gonna talk about these uh, Adobe Creative app on the Apple new M1 chip. Uh, will this work? Uh, where you can find the update? Are those apps are compatible to the new chip? Own question will be answered on these videos. Now, if you're new here, welcome. And this is my channel. I do a lot of videos about installation guide, product review, and anything that I believe it could make your life easier. So if you're interested in one of those things, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more updates. So I have heard a lot of people are struggling with the way they use Adobe Creative apps like Illustrator, Photoshop or Premiere Pro since they bought the new M1 MacBook. So that's just because the Adobe apps are not built to be compatible with the new chip yet. And I also do a quick research to see if any updates are available at this time of the video. But there are only a beta versions of Photoshop and Lightroom for the new chip. And they said the others will be developed and released as soon as possible this year. And of course, at the meantime, you can still using your preferred Adobe apps through Rosetta 2. But you might face with some problems because these apps are not run natively on the M1 chip. So in this video, I will focus to test the three apps that I mostly use, which are Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and Premiere Pro. Uh, I want to test how it works in the new chip without any optimization and how it works under the uh, simulator Rosetta 2. Um, let's see. So today I will use a 30 inch MacBook Pro with 8 gig of RAM and 256 gig of storage. So I have already installed these three programs. Now we shall begin with the Photoshop. So the version that I'm using for this test is Photoshop 2019 version that I think works best for now in the M1 chip. So far there is no problem for the simple task, but I think if you do some work like 3D or that kind of stuff, you probably get laggings. Now let's go and export this file to JPEG and see how fast it is. So guys can see the speed isn't bad but not really impressive. So now I will keep this Photoshop to run at the background and open the next one which is Adobe Illustrator 2020 version. While well, it seems to take a little while to open, let's try some tools to see what happened. It actually works pretty well without major delay. Let's save it to a file.
So now I will leave it open and we go to open the last one Premiere Pro 2020 version So I did experience a minor delay when working with premieres, especially when adding effects and masking. So just go and export a 2 minute video to see how does it take. Well the render is pretty same as a MacBook Pro 30 inch with the Intel chip that I previously used, I'm not really surprised for its performance. So we just finished the testing. Personal speaking, I think all three Adobe program that I just ran works fine. There's no big issue when running under Rosetta 2. Hopefully there will be a native version for these apps soon. In the next video, I will do a review about the native version of Lightroom. So make sure you check the comment and don't miss it. So that is the end of the video guys, if you like it, please share it to your friend and comment below to tell me what you think about those apps and what is your concern or question, I will try to answer you all and see you guys in the next video, thanks for watching.